Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's second topic Warren Sharp puts out his top 10 QB ranked for 2023. So look, <laughs> hey, so look, you know, I, uh, Warren Sharp, I like his analytics. I respect his analytics, and sometimes I even use them on this platform. But there's a problem. There's something uh, dangerously wrong <laughs> with this list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each one, 1 through 10, and we're going to see who needs to change, who needs to move up, down, whatever, and then we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's hit up. Warren Sharp's QB rankings for 2023. Okay, so <clears throat> should we work from 10 to 1? You know what? That's what we're going to do. So number 10 on this list is Tua Tagalinovolia. Whatever, right? TT! I have no problems with having Tua on this list. I keep trying to tell people Tua has been injury prone. And um, the the concussions are something to monitor and be scared of. But make no mistake about it. Miami was putting up monstrous numbers with that receiving core and Tua under center. So having him top 10, I definitely respect it. Um, I can't wait to play him this year to get our lick back. They beat us two consecutive years. Two! So you already know, I got respect for Miami uh yeah also being out here in florida so definitely got love for tua i can see that being top 10 number nine deshaun watson <laughs> feely feely touchy touchy look he's too low he's too low he's too low i once again this is a thing where people think with their emotions and not with their heads Sean Watson, when healthy and doing what he needs to do, is a top five or six quarterback in this league. <clears throat> and I think he's going to get back to that in Cleveland this year because he has a whole um, offseason under his belt. He's going to hit the ground, ground running, be acclimated more with the playbook. Remember, he was out of football for two years. So he, all of it, and he couldn't be around the team. So all of his reps came as soon as he got back. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So expect him to be gangbusters. I think they have him way too low. I would have him actually at number seven, and you'll see exactly why when we get to number seven, or I would have him at number six. But we're going to keep on going, okay? So number eight, they got Trevor Lawrence. Of the Jags. Listen, this is too high. I, I already said this. This team is the biggest hot and cold team in the NFL. When they're hot, they can beat anybody. When they're cold, they are terrible. And they look like, why, why? how did you even assemble this team? Now they're getting back. I forgot his name. The receiver from the Atlanta Falcons that was suspended for uh, gambling. They're getting him back this year. So they're going to have a dynamic receiving core. The problem is, can Trevor Lawrence get him the ball? <clears throat> has he developed enough to not make so many mental mistakes? And has he developed enough to sometimes just take the check down and not the big play? So <clears throat> I think he um, should move down even though, even though he's a fringe top 10 player in um, top 10 QB in the league. Uh, matter of fact, Looking at the list back again, I would actually, I wouldn't have Trevor Lawrence on this list. And I'm going to get to why. Now, uh, seven is Justin Fields for the Chicago Bears. This is way too high. I don't care what no one tells me. This is too high. And I look, he could come out and be gangbusters. But being number seven on the top ten, bruh. 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 Like, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Justin Fields um, is a dynamic runner. Dynamic. And he has a cannon for an arm. Okay? He can make all the throws. 
They've got him some weapons. They got him DJ Moore down there that I wanted from Carolina. You know what I mean? They got Claypool from Steelers. So they're going to have a very decent and very like good receiving core and weapons surrounded with him to be dynamic. The question is, is has he progressed enough to put it all together? And that's, that's to be seen. You know what I mean? Having him this high, er, I'd have him lower. But whatever. Once again, I wouldn't have Trevor Lawrence on this list. But I would definitely have Justin Fields. But Justin Fields wouldn't be this high. I'm sorry, you just wouldn't. Now, here's where it gets, again, dicey for me. Number six is Joe Burrow. Look, man, he's a AFC North um, opponent. I respect them, everything else. But he's that's too low. And I'm and the the, the 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 meaning low is number five and number six is switch for me, right? Um so Joe Burrow, we already know he has. Even if you don't think that Joe Burrow's the best, whatever. The weapons he got are legit. That is the best receiving core in the entire NFL. That means all 32 teams, that's the best receiving core. Bar none. So he being number six, I think is a slap in the face. I think he's definitely, definitively top five. <clears throat> and I would have him switch with number five. And number five is Justin Herbert. Switch. Remember that Will Smith song? Switch. Yeah, they'd have to switch. Um, Justin Herbert does not belong in the top five. Joe Burrow belongs in the top five. He, he got that. And the weapons there deserve respect. Be, Joe Burrow not being top five, I think, is a, a big slap in the face. Even though I think that they might take a big step back this year simply because the Browns are going to be coming, we're coming, pause, <clears throat> and they're already good also. Three legit teams can make it out of the AFC North this year, and you can never sleep on the Steelers to ruin people's parties because they haven't had a losing record since Tom has been there. So there's that too, all right? So I would switch five and six, right? Number four, Lamar Jackson. <clears throat> Here's the thing. I have Lamar at number two. I know everyone's going to say, well, of course, because you love Lamar. No, I have Lamar for QB rankings there because when he's playing, the only quarterback better than him is Patrick Mahomes. That's it. <laughs> Scoring wise, he's second all time. See, a lot of people don't seem to understand that his raw numbers are ridiculous. And he's a former MVP. Go figure. And he's led the league in passing touchdowns. Go figure. And now he has um like actual weapons on the outside. And not a and not a um uh OC that will actually rather run him than the running backs and actually I have an OC now to get the ball into playmakers' hands consistently. So Lamar's too low for me also. Um, I would definitely have Lamar at number two, but you're not going to guess who's at number two. So above Lamar at number four is Jalen Hurts. <clears throat> I actually like where Jalen is. I think Jalen's going to be number three best quarterback this year. I think that they're going to hit on all cylinders to try to get back to the NFC Championship game, and I think they're going to be in it. I think it's going to be a throw up between them and, of course, the 49ers, and it's anybody's game. You know what I mean? It's going to be a great game to watch. I think that's what it's going to be, and I think Jalen Hurts is going to fully cement how good he is. Last year is not going to be looked at as a fluke year or just a magical year. He is going to come out and play amazing football. So I got him at number three. Now, Warren Sharp, this is number two. Y'all gonna laugh. <laughs> ah, he got Patrick Mahomes at number two. <laughs> ah, I don't know how that's possible, but that's what he got. He got Patrick Mahomes at number two. Patrick Mahomes should be number one on everybody's list. And mind you, think about it. Aaron Rodgers is not in the top ten. And Aaron Rodgers would be in my top ten. I'm sorry. He would. He just would. <laughs> That's why I said Trevor Lawrence did not deserve to be on this list. Now, you can argue between Trevor and Tua, but I'm taking Tua over Trevor simply because Tua's weapons are absolutely out of this world. 
Um, but Patrick Mahomes, number two, sorry, sorry, that's disrespectful to me. Two time champion, two time MVP, two time passing leader, like bro, two time um Super Bowl MVP, like bro. <clears throat> like, what are we doing? Like, come on now. And number one, they got Josh Allen. Like, come on now, bro. Oh. Didn't you learn already from last year? <clears throat> I do not have Josh Allen number one. I would have Josh Allen probably number five. Yeah. <laughs> like straight up. So if look, I, I don't hate Josh Allen. I'm just realistic with things. Um, if, th if that's his top ten. Top ten, one through ten, Josh Allen. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, Deshaun Watson, Tua Tagovailoa, whatever. Okay, so I don't agree with that. If I had to make a top 10 list right now of QBs for the NFL season, number one, Patrick Mahomes. Number two, Lamar Jackson. Number three, Jalen Hurts. Number four, uh... Joe Burrow, number five, Josh Allen, number six, Justin Herbert, number seven, I would put Deshaun Watson, number eight, I would put um Justin Fields, number nine, I'd put Aaron Rodgers, and number ten, I'd put Tua Tagovailoa. And that would be my top 10 list compared to his. But what do you guys think? Go in the comment section. Tell me who you think is going to be the top 10 QBs for the 2023 season. And let me know. Don't hold back. You know what I'm saying? Make the list. I know people are going to have problems with my list. Whatever. I might have problems with yours. But put them down there and let's argue about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's have some fun with this. Top 10 QBs for 2023. Whoa. And mind you, check this out real quick. Right? This is why this list is so funny. Uh, in on his list, on his list, Josh Allen's number one, AFC. Patrick Mahomes, AFC. Jalen Hurts, NFC. Um, Lamar Jackson, AFC. Justin Herberts, AFC. Joe Burrow, AFC. Justin Fields, NFC. Trevor Lawrence, AFC. Deshaun Watson, AFC. Tua, AFC. Eight out of the ten are AFC, and in mine, nine out of the ten are AFC. So it's like, wow. Like, wow. Oh, no, it'll still be eight. God, yeah, I'll keep them. But eight out of ten? Eight out of ten. AFC is locked and loaded. Bro, this year's going to be crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And they got good middle-of-the-pack quarterbacks that came over for, for um, the AFC also. Like... Let me know what y'all think. Once again, that's another episode of The Wonderkin Show. <laughs> hey, look, you know, we have fun, we laugh and have fun, but it's all rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. I love the comments. Just be respectful. We got no problems. And if you'd like to leave a um, donation, bottom of the screen, QR code to the Cash App. So we do almost all of our do donations. You can also find the Cash App in the description of every video that we do. Right? And the name of it is Money Sign The Wonderkind Show. And before we go any further, I want to make sure that I say thank you to Fran Cody. Even though they, they have been using the, the, <clears throat> the, what's it called? The cash app for the donations. They use the super thanks and stuff like that. And they've left, and he, and, 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 and uh, they've left $15 worth of donations. So I just want to say thank you for investing your hard-earned money into this platform because I'm I'm also investing time into this. And when you guys invest, it's helping to it for it to grow and reach higher heights. So thank you for your investment. And I'll make sure I put it to good use on this platform, giving you the best content possible. Shout outs to you, Frank Cody. Thank you once again. And also, if you want to um go any further with the Patreon, you can. We have nine patrons right now. Now, yes, people are joining. Go ahead and join that. What do you get if you join the Patreon for the Wonderkin Show? Access to the Discord. You get access to questions from subscribers. 
uh, sweepstakes for free merch, fancy football for next year, big um, <clears throat> big um, prize at the end. So go ahead, join that, become a patron, have fun with us, and you can talk to me directly, which is always a plus. But once again, it's the Wonderkin Show. The show is Nitro signing off, and as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Yeah.